Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Ricky Summer and this is not a review of Hellpoint. But first, a message from our sponsor. Nexus Security. Protecting you from the unknown beyond the Nexus. Okay, welcome to Hellpoint. Hellpoint is, listen, straight up, is Dark Souls. It's just straight up Dark Souls. So if you want to know how it how it how it plays, the level structure, the world structure, the gameplay loop, it's straight up Dark Souls. But it's got a couple of sprinklings of some paprika, some cumin, maybe some Dijonese, all in that turkey club sandwich. And and once it comes out of that toasting oven, baby, it's a very interesting little lunch meal. And let's talk about it. So uh, full disclosure here, I did receive a key for the game for free from the devs, but that does not color my opinion of the game one way or the other. I've played about three hours pre-release yesterday. It's now been released on Steam, 50 Australian dollars, and the reviews are mostly positive, which is heartening to see. Uh, this morning, so like an hour or two ago, the reviews were mixed, and most of the negative reviews seem to center around bugs. Now, I haven't encountered uh, any bugs, as far as I'm aware, uh, certainly no major ones, but that does not mean that the bugs are not there, so just keep that in mind. So, it's Dark Souls, but wrapped up in like a sci-fi horror mystery kind of trapping it feels very much like event horizon <laughs> you know that 90s movie with skinless sam neil they're going off and messing with with black holes skinless sam neil lawrence fishburne that lady with a nose i don't remember her name but it, fantastic movie i love that movie it it's it's got like heavy vibes of that and we'll talk a little bit more about that in in like a little story section um later on but just for the moment let's go fight some demons and shit uh we you know what just because it's happening right now let me let me cut in real quick here so one of the interesting mechanics of this game is up in the left you'll see this uh top left there you'll see a red disc it looks like a clock so we are currently on a space station that is orbiting a black hole so when twice a day and it's apparently like it's a real time clock there i don't know how how long it takes to do a full loop but um twice within the orbit of the black hole we find ourselves in an accretion storm of the black hole and apparently it makes uh i think it makes enemies harder, harder or might make bosses harder um it shakes the station like you can feel it right now and the and the clock is glowing up there um, so we're within that wedge, so it's, you know, <laughs> things are happening. Uh, something demonic is happening for sure. And I'm given to understand it might, maybe depending on which area you're in, it, it might, uh, summon some extra hard demons that are not normally there. But that's a really interesting mechanic. So you've got, you know, you've got sci-fi horror Dark Souls, plus there's a little bit of a time element. And even, even if it's not really amounting to anything right now at this early stage of the game, it gives, it's given me a sense of urgency, and I kind of like that. It's it's very interesting. It's it's I think it's adding to the atmosphere in a, a very nice way here. Okay, so uh, let's delve into the depths of the station here. Um, first up, first up, my my initial reaction was, man, this feels this feels clunky. Feels real clunkzilla. Uh, the animations are, are stiff. It just, it felt weird. But once I got used to it, I ended up kind of appreciating that. I, at first, I wasn't actually sure if it was an intentional choice <laughs> to have the animations feel so stiff. But let me tell you what they're not. They're not floaty. Um, so it actually, it, to, to, to me, it feels very much like uh, Dark Souls 1. But Dark Souls 1 came across to me, my memory of it at least, is, is that it was a little bit floaty. Uh, this is not, this is not, so I've come to appreciate, here we go, here we go, I've come to appreciate the, uh, the stiffness of the animations because it makes it incredibly super clear what you're doing, so, let's go, let's go, like that, yeah, 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 that guy, he didn't hit me, right, and it was very obvious that he didn't hit me, it was none of this, I'm not explaining myself well, but you know what I mean, like, especially with fast bosses in Dark Souls, you can you can you can get to a point where it's like well i'm dead and i'm accepting that but i don't really see, <laughs> i didn't really see the connect there here you see the connect so i'm 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 two bosses deep um like i said three hours into the game and i gotta say so far it's been pretty easy and i'm 
by no stretch of the imagination uh, particularly good at these sort of games. So the first boss, in fact, both bosses stomped me the first time and I was starting to feel like, yo, is this whole game going to be my Pontiff Sullivan, you know? No, no, no. The second time with both bosses, I got him. And why? Because, yeah, like the second boss in particular was fast, but you just stay out of his way. You wait for his attack and he sort of locks into it and you dodge to the side and you smack him in the ass. It was very, it was very, very simple. Like you, you hear people talk about in Dark Souls, you know, you just learn the patterns. Yeah, totally. I feel like in this particular game, learning the patterns is, is quite easy. So does it stay like that throughout the whole game? I don't know. I don't know. But all I can say for certain is at this stage of the game, I'm feeling very capable here. So we're going sword and board. Uh, and we got some heavy armor, which makes us quite slow. You may notice that we're moving around very slowly. This individual, get out of here, bud. We're moving around very slowly. Um, that's because of the armor. Now, of course, we can we can run, we can sprint, and that's fine. So let me let me drop some of the armor here. Actually, I can I can equip a body module. Provides a slight boost to health. <laughs> Dude, you call that slight? That's a big old boost you got right there huge if true okay so we've got all the all the regular tropes um we've got our equivalent of estus which is a syringe that we you know what? i'm gonna use it check this shit out oh look at that yeah 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 very clinical so we are as far as i can tell a synthetic well a, a manufactured but organically manufactured human and that's maybe how it explains the whole dying and resurrecting thing we have been brought here by a figure known simply as the author yo hold up so the game has uh has ranged weapons as well that you can use <laughs> and so can the enemies so can the enemies okay so the story is told in in true souls like fashion with very vague little rumblings and and dialogue and little notes and whatnot it doesn't throw the story in your face which i've i've come to quite like um so all i know is that we are here on this station orbiting a black hole sent to investigate that's that's our mission as of the current part of the game here we we're we're here to, to observe not necessarily like we weren't it's not so much an investigation in that we have to figure out what went wrong or whatever but we're just like here to the the implication was we have to we have to take note of what happened so no one forgets it's almost like you know <laughs> yeah, i'm not going to finish that sentence because I, I don't want to spoil anything here so in fact i'd like to discuss a little story point here i know some people like to go in completely cold and raw with these games here we go so we've found our axioms our souls an interesting a little addition here is sometimes I found, I don't know what triggers it, but sometimes when I die, there'll be a mirror version of myself that I have to fight around my souls, uh, which is very interesting. I, I really quite like that mechanic. Yo? Okay. Let's kill this man real quick. Excuse me? Is this man also going to pick a fight with us? Young man, hurry yourself up. Because I want to talk about the story, bud. Get over here. Get over here, pal. Come on, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, so one thing. The only... The, here we go. All right, he's fine. He's fine. So I am going to put up just a quick little spoiler tag for like 30 seconds. Um, so for those of you who want to go in completely cold, this is your chance to mute the video for the next 30 seconds. And for those who actually want to hear about uh, some of the story elements that really pulled me in, all right, let's go. So not long after the uh, defeating the second boss, I, I'm i not sure what how it happened, but I think I was talking to someone's consciousness in a cube or something that I found. I, I, I don't know, dude. Um, but he was saying that this station was constructed like 20 years ago um, in order to summon, as like an experiment to summon ancient gods through this black hole and it all went horribly wrong and now there's demons and shit everywhere and that's that's the whole crux of it 
<laughs> so as you can imagine, it's look, it's feeling a little bit Lovecraftian and I am here for it. Spoilers gone. So there you go. That's, that's why it's given me heavy, heavy, heavy event horizon vibes. And I'm 100% here for it. Okay. You know what? Scoozy, I'm going to pull out my range weapon here. So we've got, we got one of those two, buddy. We got one of those two. <laughs> Hello. But it's not really, it's not really that good right now. I don't think I'm stat, I'm statted for it. Actually, I can double check. That's right, I'm not. So I need, what do I need here? Eight cognition. So we've got strength, reflex, which is like dex. Um, cognition and foresight. So I'm given to understand there's also potentially elements of magic, witchcraft and the like, but I haven't come across them yet. Victim leg clasps. How about that? How about that? Okay, so we've got a light attack. We've got a heavy attack, as you might imagine. We've got a couple of interesting maneuvers, like we can dodge and then immediately attack. Oh, that was scary. Okay. We can dodge and then immediately attack, which I quite like. Um, we've got, you know, a block or just a general offhand. In fact, you know what? You know what I should try? Can we put... Yo! We can. We can put... <laughs> The range weapon in our offhand here. I'm gonna pop a little, a little stimmy over here. Okay, we're not spec for it, so. And you'll note that it actually uses our blue bar. So like it uses our equivalent of mana. Yeah, this was this was a mistake. But you know that's it's it's pretty cool that we can do that regardless. Okay, let's go back to sword and board here. Um, please, yo, I'm still in the menu. Okay, all right, all right, steady on there, pal, steady on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, young man. So I don't know, I don't know why these individuals uh, look the way they do. I don't know who or what they are, if they are human or what's going on. We're still figuring that out. But the body horror is is off the chain. Make no mistake. Okay, so we you know we've got our yo nerve suit. We got new armor. Let's go. So we've got you know our light attack, our heavy attack, um, our block. We can shoot if we have the requisite weapon. Uh, sprint on L two. Now early game, we've also got like messages, um, just like in Dark Souls, but they're handprints on the wall. So we've got green messages that uh, that are official, like tutorials and whatnot, and yellow messages that are presumably by players, uh, but we haven't seen any this particular episode. Is that a gap? Yeah, yeah, we need to jump that. Um, so I saw a green message early game that tutor tutorialized me on parrying, but for the life of me, I can't get it to work. So it said, it said parrying is, is, L2 plus L1. So that's the sprint button plus the block button. Now that just doesn't make sense. That doesn't seem to do anything. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe, maybe it's more of a timed block system that, that gets the parrying going. And I think I may have observed that. So it's worth noting that I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with the parry. I don't know if it exists, if it's possible. If that was like a typo when they tutorialized me and then that, that was all wrong, I don't I actually don't know. Um, it's also worth knowing the, go the game is incredibly dark, but I think that's intentional. It's got some like really nice sweeping vista moments. That's that's what that's what I would say is is one of the game's strong suits. It's got like you discover a new area, uh, like the equivalent of Firelink Shrine, and it's it's grandiose, dude. It's wild. It's like sci-fi gothic magnificence i'm into it okay there's a lot of shortcuts too i would say the game i mean evidenced by the fact that we haven't come across uh, come across a breach which is the equivalent of a, a bonfire um at all in this video except for the, like the, at the very start i would say the game is more shortcut oriented than it is checkpoint oriented and that's fine. So in that regard, maybe it's a little more like Bloodborne. I don't know where we are. Is this a new area or what? That's a new guy. Oh, you know what? 
I need to try the new armor. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing here, bud? A nerve suit. Oh, does it require reflex? Rude. I mean, I can wear it, but... Oof. Look at that. But it's not going to give me the full benefit. Oh, buddy. Ooh. Ooh. That's wild. That's friggin' wild. I'm not sure I want to go... I'm not sure I want to do a reflex build here, but... <laughs> Maybe, maybe. Okay, so let's let's get back to the exploration here. Um, yeah, lots of shortcuts to unlock, which is always fun. And there's there's like resources that I don't fully understand how to use yet. Here we go. This is new. This is new. What is that? That's death down there. Yo, 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 yo. So yeah, this is <laughs> this is one of those times where. Okay, this is one of those times where the darkness kind of hurts you. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come to... Oh, Christ. Okay, alright. Keep that shield up, buddy. Keep it up. Keep it up. No, no, no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I'm in danger. Yo, right, right, right. So we've got... So there's a little bit of a recharge mechanic on uh, on our syringe, on our healing item, which can be upgraded, by the way. And I think there's actually multiple healing item options. Healing method, right? Which implies that there's, there's many different items that you can use to heal, which is very cool. And then that just slots into your, your down D-pad slot here. I wish there was a light. All right, there's a guy here. There's a guy here. Haven't come across any large enemies yet. Let's go in hard. Get out of here, please. More axioms. So that's like the equivalent of like finding a full soul that you can burn in Dark Souls. Okay, that I think is probably progress there. But I also want to see what this is. I like that there's a dedicated jump button. Oh God. Rather than having to faff around with some combinations. That's nice. Yo. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so... Oh, another dude! Right, so our healing syringe thingy uh, functions just like Estus. And it will recharge when we go to a breach. But it also has... It seems to have a very, very slow recharge on it. Um time to recharge anyway which is handy so the longer you're out there um the 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 greater chance that you why in the hell is this oh yikes dude see this is why you don't mess around with black holes material bones this is why you don't mess around with black holes but because before you know it you got skinless sam neil you got paul lawrence fishburn floating out into space no one wants to see that no one wants that is that where I came in before? I didn't even know dude get, get out of here dude just friggin just friggin get out of here but yeah on the whole I, I really quite like it it's 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 grabbed me um it, and it might be it might be that I have some nostalgia for uh Older style game, yo! Older style games. I've just gone the loop, and that's why. Yeah, okay. I get it. I get it. I got some nostalgia for older style games, and this does. This does not feel like a 2020 game, right? So if you're, <laughs> if you're out here looking for the new hotness, this might not be for you, because it definitely it feels. Maybe it's maybe got some double A jank. You've heard me talk about double A jank before. This sort of there's a there's a a double A jank charm here. Um, we got a lot of Axiom to spend. We could level up. We could also upgrade our weapons and whatnot at, um, at the observatory. A demon scythe? <laughs> Are you serious? Yo, we need strength for that. What does it look like, though? Oh, it looks heavenly. Oh, I like that. Oh, I, oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Do, is there, like, a two-handed mechanic? What if I... Hang on. What if I unequip the shield? Nah, I don't, I don't think so. Unless... Wait, 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 wait. 
What if I put in the second? Nah, no, no, no. Okay. Let's just go back to that shield. Yeah, I think that's the better shield. So, I, you know what? I do have an item that will take us back to the last breach that we discovered. I can do that. Um, I think I need to... God, I, I'm, I'm fully lost now. <laughs> Where are we? Um, hang on, hang on. I don't remember the stairs. I, what? Right, I think, you know what I did? I was like, hey, I'll go off in this direction first. Um, and then, and then I'll double back, but then I just like kept going. No, 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 come down <laughs> I'm properly lost. I, I, I do admit, I did get severely lost after the first boss. But what I ended up having to do was, um, I had to go to, like, Firelink, essentially, and then find another path from there. Alright, I would like to go to the Observatory, aka Firelink, uh, to show you that in a second. It's quite grandiose. What's in here? I've, yeah, I've come through here, I'm pretty sure of that. This is... Dude, I'm lost. Yo, hang on. No, no, no. This is new. The shortcut. We got a shortcut. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad we kept going. Yeah, we desperately need strength to actually use this weapon. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, all right, all right. So that's something else. I'm glad that happened because I totally forgot that that, that was a thing. Um, so when... <laughs> When you have your stamina drained, you kind of get stuck. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. When you, when you have your stamina drained, you get stuck um, in this sort of exhaustion state. And you either have to... I think you, you might be able to wait it out and hopefully you don't get hit. Or you get hit and it like knocks you out and then you can, you can dodge away. Um, but it's a state where you don't recover stamina. So you're stuck. You have no stamina, and you can't you can't get out. It's 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 madness, dude. Okay, so it looks like we've got more syringe charges. That's pretty good. Like that's that's recharging at a a very reasonable rate. To the point that this this right now this is not feeling difficult. But we can actually up the difficulty, not through like a a difficulty slider. I'll show you. Once we get back to the breach. You know what? I'm going to use this guy to try and parry. No, hang on. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> Come on. Come on, bud. No. Try it again. Try it again. Come on. No. Okay. Try it again. I'm not sure. I'm, honestly, I'm not sure about that. Before I, I hit record, I, um, I did do a, a quick Google search to see if anyone was having issues with the parry. I did, I did know some people say that there wasn't a parry. So I'm not sure about that. I'm not a, I'm not a, a great deal sure about that. Um, but yeah, the game seems to say there's a parry. <laughs> Haven't been able to pull it off. So just keep that in mind. Okay. Let's get in here, buddy. I want to use the big web. I just got to remember which way to go. Please. Okay. Lodge hits for Lodge boys. All right, where are we going? We've got an item here. I think <laughs> I'm actually lost. Um, right. Can we get over there? I don't want to. I'm not. I don't really want to risk it if. Maybe do we go, ah, uh, we go around, we go around. Is it a going around situation? It is a going around situation. In, in Celium Rod. Okay, I'm not sure what we, what we do with that just yet. Right, so, is this, where's the way back? Where is it, dude? Is it, is it? <laughs> I'm actually lost. I mean, I can I can just fast travel, essentially to the last breach. Uh, we can we can do that, unless you know what, 
Unless this is not the room that... No, it has to be. It even had the item in the, in the same spot. This has to be the right room. There it is. Through here? Or is this where I came from? <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Okay, that's where we, that's where we went back. Okay, so... Up the... Uh, no, that's where we came from. That was the shortcut up there. I could have sworn... Unless it's locked it off. I could have sworn that that was how we came in. But maybe it's been blocked off. Interesting if true. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna use this opportunity, take this opportunity to use our uh, our leap to last breach visited. So it's a little cube dingus. Here we go. Yeah 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 here we go here we go. Take me back to the arcology. Okay, here we are back at the breach. So I can just, I can just level up here, which is what I'm going to do. Let's go strength. Hang on, how much strength did we need? I don't think it was that much. Just for this thing. Nice, we just need one more. That's fine. What else? We got the column that needs 12 strength. I don't, we can, I don't think we can pull that off. But let's just go, come on. Let's go one more strength there. Let's bump up uh, health a little more, which I don't think is super necessary right now. Yeah, no, no, that's not super necessary. What else have we got? Energy. Hang on, we can have a look at what these do. Energy, a resource used by firearms. Ah, I gotcha, catalyst and omni cube and weapon abilities replenished by dealing melee damage. Hey, that's pretty cool. Right, so, so then you can't really do, or at least it doesn't encourage a, a full uh, ranged build, I suppose. So you could do like sword and board, you can do ranged and, and sword and ranged, you know, which is kind of interesting. I, I don't mind that. So then I guess what you'd want to do is maybe, maybe reflex. If that fast weapons, no, not necessarily. Like, you know, you could do like a dodge heavy build. So wear like lighter armor. Yeah, you could get away with that. Okay. All right, cool. So I'm just going to confirm that. And now, and now, <laughs> yo, now we can, now we can use this thing properly. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a big boy. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So you'll note here at the breach, we've also got the ability to polarize. Increases enemy strength in this universe. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. So does it reload? I'm not, I've been too scared to do this up, up till this point. <laughs> okay. So now I'm noticing under the, uh, the clock, it's got a two probably to indicate the increased, the increased difficulty. <laughs> yeah. But for the moment, I am going to shimmy on back to synchronize breach consume hang on really we can't fast travel from here okay so it seems like you can only fast travel from certain breaches so let's see if we can head back to um okay that's in that's interesting that means that yeah you can't you can't just flick back to to the observatory to home base essentially on a whim okay here we go so this is presumably a message left by a player. Ooh, notice that it's, it almost looks like it's got two thumbs. That's wild, dude. In fact, it does have two thumbs. That's fucked up. Anyway, um, as far as I can tell, messages left by players are, are left in symbols, which is interesting. So you you kind of have to interpret what they what they say. Um, all the dialogue is not in English. Now, I don't know if it's in a language I don't understand or if it's a made up language. I'm tempted, I'm, I'm inclined to maybe think it's made up, but I haven't really, I haven't really listened for it. Um, so subtitles is, is the way of the world here. This is, this weapon is, is, is horrible. This thing is crap. <laughs> maybe it's strat is more like AOE. This is not good. This is not a good weapon. 
<laughs> what's, hang on, what's its problem? I upgraded my strength, did I not? What's happened? What have I done? Hang on, wait, 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 wait. Does it, like, lower our strength or something? It requires nine, but as soon as I, I equip it, unless... I don't, honestly, I, I'm not 100% sure. Can I go to... No, 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 I want to go to, like, details. A weapon used by de demon shepherds, shepherds to cull the herd. Not exactly designed for battle, but fearsome nevertheless. The weapon requires strength to use, but can be swung precisely from above, above, or in wide arcs. Okay, all right, all right. So you know what? I'm just going to run back to the breach real quick, and I'm going to pop us one more strength. And uh, we'll see if we can get this thing going. All right, so I actually had to upgrade our strength uh, two whole points, but let's see how we go here. Ah, oh, yeah. That's good. That's good damage. That's some good D right there. Let's give it the uh, the full yeet force. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So we got that we got that running attack too, which feels huge. Let's run in here. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Ooh, I'm not I'm not sure I'll stick to this one, but it's a it's a big web beyond a shadow of a doubt. There you go. I like that. Some lance action. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm into that. I'm into it. Get out. Get out of my freaking world. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't you dare reload in my presence. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's run to the breach here. And, uh, pop a little infusion, if no one disagrees. Okay. Good, good, good. So, I'm pretty sure this breach... There we go. We got messages all over the place. We've got... Like, what does that even mean, dude? It's like a brain, a triangle, three ones, and two circles? Why? I... I, I don't know. Question and then a human form? I don't know. I don't get it. It, this, the obfuscation is off the chain. Consume Axiom Infuse? Why can I not... Why can I not go back? What is happening? Can I only go back manually? Alright, you know what? I'm going to find a way back to the observatory because I want to show you that shit. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm trying to show you. The vistas, you know? We're checking out the whole station here. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, this is what I want to show you. I just want to come back here to the observatory, uh, which is equivalent to Firelink Shrine. Look at this. <laughs> oh, hello there. Is that a little black hole you got for me? It's just, uh, look, <laughs> some of the, like, set PC level design aspects here are just, they're stunning. I would not, I would not describe the game as a looker until you get to, like, these sort of areas. It's got, like, a general, like, retro-y old double-A jank to it. The animations are stiff and weird. But that's, I think it's kind of okay. It almost looks like... It looks like I'm straight out of Morrowind. I gotta be honest with you. That's that's what we're orbiting right there. <laughs> you can upgrade your your weapons over here. This is... I'm, I'm, I'm enthralled. I am. I am. And you can tell by the fact that this, this video should have been 20 minutes long. And yet, here we are. Still freaking playing the game because I don't want to stop. So, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I, I quite like Hellpoint. I'm interested to see where it goes. Uh, so, let me know what you think of the game if you played it yourself or just from what you've seen in this video here. And let me know what your favorite Souls-like is. Whether it's, you know, an, an actual Dark Souls game or, uh, or something... A little bit spicier but for the moment thank you very much for watching don't forget to gently caress that like button taste the game be excellent to each other and i'll see you next time ricky summer out <laughs>